Pat Love back from Love Healing Hearts. I want to tell you something funny. This is another one of those little lessons in life stemming from my experience. When I was in the hospital battling with the idea of going forward with this procedure that I talked about in the previous video, the thoracentesis, where they stick the needle into the lining of your lung from your back and they drain the fluid out. <clears throat> I really didn't want to go through that pain, but I want to share something comical with you to show you what a sense of humor God has and how true he is. Now, I'm going to go back in, in time a little bit to share what got me to pray in this prayer. I used to do hair for like 25 years. And there were times when I knew I was going to be about two or three minutes late for my appointment. So what I started doing was asking God to make my customer five minutes late so that it would look like I was there on time. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> so I, I do ask God for some crazy prayers, but he did it. I can't tell you how many times. Or I would do something goofy, like make an appointment with a hair customer for a full weave. Forget to write it in my book. And then, whoops, remember, oh no, by now it's too late. They're counting on it, can't get it done any other time. But someone else is scheduled within an hour and a half. No way I'm going to be done. So what I would do is say, God, check this prayer out. God, please make them postpone for enough time for me to finish the first one because I do not leave I don't I don't leave customers sitting in a seat. So I I honor their time. So I ask God to I would ask God to make them late enough so that you know tie them up so they can't get there until right after I finish the first customer. It worked every time. I'm telling you this for a reason. Now, this will help you in your situations, just this experience alone, that God answers those kind of prayers. And people would call up, oh, Pat, I'm so sorry. My day got so tied up. I'm not going to be able to get there for another two hours. Are you going to be available? Do I have to postpone to another day? And I'm like, oh, well, why don't you give it two and a half hours? That'll be fine. Oh, girl, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm looking up at God like, oh, Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> he would cover me in so many ways. So, listen, this is what my friends and I prayed over the phone. My friend Edith and my friend Thelma, we were praying over the phone. I'm calling from the hospital. Okay, here's another prayer we got to pray. Lord, just in case we didn't hear from you correctly, and just in case the yes, yes was not a real yes, and just in case you really want to work a miracle, like I want you to, would you cancel this thing yourself? Would you make them get so tied up that they can't even get to me? Well... <clears throat> at two o'clock in the afternoon in they come and I looked up as if looking at the Lord and I said that figures you didn't let me off the hook this time well I know as cute as comical but God loves me he loves you and there are things you have to do just like I had to I had to face that bad boy I had to face it. How do they call it? Facing the, uh, I can't think of the term. But I had to face that bad boy. And I'm telling you, everything in my fiber wanted to tell God, I'm not doing it. I'm just not going to do it. I'll go on hospice and just wait to die. I'm not going to go out like that. But God girded me with so much strength. And he made it easier on me than normal. I'm telling you, be creative with your prayers. 
you'll be shocked at how creative God could be with your answers. Now, I knew at that point that God had answered me because had that woman not made it in, had the team not been able to get together, <clears throat> I would have known that God was going to do it another way. But because they showed up, that gave me enough courage and God knew I needed courage. This wimp needed courage. You hear me? I needed courage to face this one. God enabled that. And I say that to say, when God wants you to do something, it's for your good just like it was for my good. The proof was in the bottle when I looked at all that liquid. Oh, I can breathe. Oh, thank you, Lord. So, now what I want y'all to do is pray that this is my last trip. There will be no more. Please, God bless you. I hope that helps somebody who doesn't want to do something that God wants them to do. <laughs>